please like, hit that button, and please hit that button. Subscribe. Wait, what? That was cool. <laughs> Keep that in there, too. Wait, what? That was cool. No, no, no. I'm not keeping wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? That was we are live, as always. Who's up next? Yep. We are live, guys. Live. Welcome back. Live. Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. As oh. always, guys. Welcome back. Oh, you f***ing up the Shut furniture, up. homie. Shut up. You paid good money for this couch. <laughs> this right here, I'm surprised we haven't done earlier, which is one of the kings of comedy. My Rushmore for me. Man. Right. One of my faves. Uh, Eddie Murphy. Yeah, he's a, yeah, he's, he's a beast, man. Incredible. Beast, original. I don't know why he did this. I mean, you can do the schedule. I mean, Hollywood blew him up so much, but he should have stayed with Stan. At I least one a year, yeah, one, every, one every two years. And we talked about it, though. That's what, yeah. he he's probably scared how many minutes right. we had? Poopless. He's probably scared poopless <laughs> of coming back because he has such a high standard. Yeah, yeah. And everybody's just waiting on you, man. And you better be fucking hilarious. Yeah. So they'll yeah. let you know. Yeah. And then, on top of that, you have Dave Chappelle over here killing But I'm sure he's touring you know, right now in clubs, you know, fine-tuning, you know, getting, standing up, rolling All up. Right. <laughs> no, I hear you. That's how it happens, man. You gotta, you know, work your stuff out, man. I hear you. Huh? Who was it? Out. Jerry Jerry Seinfeld told a comic forgot recently, I think it was gone for it. How long have you been doing comedy? He goes, six years. That's how old you are in the world of comedy. You're a six-year-old. And that's what it's about. It's about, you, got, you know, you know, you got you got constantly, Jerry Seinfeld's worth damn near a billion, but he's still out there for the love of it. And he's still right. in the clubs two, three in the morning. That's like if Dave Chappelle was to come out and say, I'm going to go in and do another sketch comedy bit uh, like the Dave Chappelle show. Uh, it better be. You yeah. better bring it. Yeah. Because that was one of the best. But what was his hiatus? Was it ten years off the show? Good Dave. Years? Dave was a good. Was it was a ten. It's close to ten. Yeah. As far as he started doing game. spots here and there, right. then he started doing specials again. Yeah. So it's it's work, yeah. man. But this dude was thirty. <laughs> yeah. 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 What's the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. New That's era, new all type, man. Yeah. Exactly. A whole new generation. Yeah. Yeah. If you want more Eddie, leave a like on the video, guys. Y'all know how we roll, man. We going off of likes right now. But this is raw and this is like a classic. Yeah. Classic, man. One classic. of my first stand-ups I watched, man. Yeah. This one is about uh, Bill Cosby and Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. So let's check it out. Let's see what it's about. <laughs> do you watch the Bill Cosby show? Yeah. I do too. I love Bill Cosby's show. I've been a, a big fan of Bill Cosby all my life. Never met the man before, but he called me up about a year ago and chastised me on the phone for being too dirty on stage. And it was real weird because I had never met him. And he just thought it was he should call me up because he That's was a Bill story. I heard and tell me what he did yeah. about yeah. what comedy is all about. And I, I sat and listened girls, to right? this man yeah. chastise me. And when Bill Cosby chastised you, you forget you're girl. grown. You feel like one of the Cosby kids and shit. And I ran in the house all excited to talk to Bill and picked up the telephone and Bill got raw on me. I was like, hello, Mr. Cosby. And you hear, I would like to talk to you <laughs> about some of the things that you do in your show. Dude, he does it perfectly. Wow. <laughs> perfectly, like, you see him? Maybe Eric Spears? Yeah. I'm going to tell you a story. He always tells you stories. I would like to tell you a story. <laughs> I have five children. One, two, three, four, five. Five, five children. Sorry. I live in Massachusetts with my wife, Camille, and my five children. Now, <laughs> of the five children no. that we have, there are four that is perfect. and a boy. The boy's name is Ennis. He loves everything you do. Comes home from school the other day with a big smile on his face. And my son looks just like me. He walks through the door looking at me <laughs> with this big smile. That's it. I cannot resist. Because it's such a beautiful smile. And he walks up and I say, what are you smiling about? Aww. <laughs> and the child says to me, I'm smiling because I need money to go see the Andy Murphy show. Please give me money for a ticket. Now, if the child is smiling this way because he needs money for a ticket, I have to give him money for a ticket. I do not handle the money in the house. My wife, Camille, handles the ticket money. So I must go into the kitchen to where my wife is cooking dinner for the family. And she is inside the kitchen cooking. 
and she's got a bowl and she's cooking up the food, man. <laughs> God, this is exactly. <laughs> I don't want to fall off. He's incredible. He's Dude, incredible. he does. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the matters of everything. The walk, yeah, yeah. the walk, the head, the face, everything, man. He has his shit right. down. Yeah, yeah, if you look at his album, this album came out in the sixties. To my dear brother Russell, who I grew up with, mm-hmm. it's a collector's item. Dude, yeah. <laughs> he and this is just his talent, though. He's funny stand up wise, right, right, right. But he also could do the imitations and the, the details, you know what I'm the details. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah, could yeah. do all of that. Yeah, I, I mean, he could act a series actor right. on Dream Girls and all that stuff. He he, he, he should have won. Actor. He should have yeah, won for Dream Girls. He should have won an Oscar on Dream Girls. He was good and, and his, um, Rudy, Ray, yeah, Dolomite. Dolomite, Dolomite, Dolomite was crazy. Was good. Dog, so the man, man, so he, man, he's a jack of all trades. Dude can sing too. He can sing. My girl likes to party all the time. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> the room with the smile, he says, Mother, please, money. She gives him the money. He runs off to see your show. Now, <laughs> we sit in the living room waiting for Ennis to return. At about five o'clock in the morning, the child comes through the door. He has a different look on his face. <laughs> And look like he heard something at your show that he's never heard before. And I say to my child, I say, child. Child. I say, what did the man say on the stage? And he says, pop, the man comes out and says these things. I say, well, what did he say? He says, pop, he comes out and says some stuff. I say, what did he do? He says, pop, he walks out and he goes, hello, suck this and MF and kiss my big black stuff and suck it and stick it down in your mouth and suck it, suck it. (laughs) You cannot say filth, florin, filth, florin, filth in front of people. And I said, I never said no filth, florin, filth. <laughs> because you know what I'm talking about. I can't use the type of language that you use, but you know what I mean when I say filth, florin, 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 filth. And I said, I never said no filth, flying filth, and I don't know what you're talking about. I'm offended that you call. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when Bill got pissed. At, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you <laughs> cannot say <laughs> fuck <laughs> <laughs> in front of people. And I got mad because he thought that was my whole act. Like I just walked down on the stage and cursed and left. And I managed to stick in some jokes between the curses. You couldn't give no curse show or walk out and say, hey, felt for him, motherfucker, dick pussy snot, and shit. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Suck my dick. Bye bye. <laughs> I was pissed off. I was so mad. I called Richard Pryor's house up and said, yo, Richard, Bill Cosby just called me up and told me I was too dirty. And Richard said, the next time a motherfucker called, tell him I said, suck my dick. <laughs> Damn. 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 I can see Richard Pryor saying that. Yep. I don't give a fuck. Whatever the fuck make the people laugh, say that shit. He said, do the people laugh when you say what you say? I said, yes. He said, do you get paid? I said, yes. He said, well, tell Bill. I said, have a Coke and a smile and shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Facts. Mm-hmm. The Jello pudding eating motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, Richard, Richard is the rawest motherfucker in the show because Richard's the one that made me want to do comedy. When I was little, I wanted to be Richard Pryor so bad, I used to read, li- li- listen to Sneak in the Memory, Sneak in the Basement, put his albums on, and just listen. And your mother ain't supposed to hear it, so you listen. <clears throat> Listening to shit. And I turned it. I was, I wanted to be Richard so bad, I used to go out on stage when I was 15 and talk and act and walk and do everything like Richard Pryor. My mother would sit there and watch her little 15 year old son on stage saying some outlandish shit. My whole act back then was about taking the shit because that's all I had done at 15. That was my life experience, but it sounded like Richard Pryor jokes. I'd be going, you ever like sometime, right? You get on that toilet, and when you shit, that water splash up on your ass. <laughs> Damn. Don't that make you mad, right? You know what really make me mad is when shit come halfway out your ass, then go back up in that motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck? Right? <laughs> Why does shit be teasing your ass, right? Just get the fuck out, right? You know what really bother me is when you be straining for a long time, right? And one little pebble shit come out. Right? <laughs> He's some shit this big, right? Well, push your head up your asshole and say, that's all the shit I'm gonna get, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what really make me mad when your ass don't cooperate with you and clench up and break the shit in half. You be mad as a 
motherfucker too, but you know you got to wait your ass for like five hours and shit, right? <laughs> Use 12 rolls of toilet paper on that motherfucker. You know what really make me mad though is afterwards, right? It's after you shit. You done all the shit you gonna do for the whole day, right? You finish shitting and you flush the toilet and wait a second and one chunk come back. <laughs> what does that chunk want? <laughs> What does that song want? Five hours working there. That was good. That was good. Yo, uh, as you said before, hey, you know what's crazy, dude? He's, that, that Bill Cosby thing, I, be, I heard him say it a few times. He said, Bill, you yeah. should always be like, yo, you can't talk like this. You can't do this. You can't do that. Meanwhile, yeah. this dude out like, here raping people. Right, he went right. off on uh, Tommy Davis and Jamie Foxx, the movie Booty Call. He like, went that's off crazy. on uh, a bunch of stuff. But look at the hypocrisy. Yeah. The, that's how he's sitting there is, drug, he's drugging girls. That's right, how it is. Yeah, dude, sure. like the Bill nerve, Cosby. the Bill balls, Cosby. the balls you gotta the have. Nerve. Yeah. Right. You gonna sit here and tell somebody how to act when you out here raping people, mm -hmm. roofing them, drink up. That's wild, man. That's wild. Right. Man. By the way, that movie uh, Harlem Nights with Eddie Murphy and what's the name? It's a classic. That is a classic movie. That in life. Life, life is so funny. incredible. Oh my God, that was so no, but sweet, life, for me, life was sad. Though. Sad, it made me but mad to watch it. Bad, but funny. But it was funny. Right, though. the overall it had funny parts, but it was just like that. Like, like, it wasted their life. Yeah, 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 it did. Whole fucking life. Because in, in reality, a lot of people have wasted their life. True story. True story. I don't know if it's true or not, but I mean, I'm sure it's true. Something like that. Right, the cast, man. No, no, Bernie. Second, third, and fourth were Bernie and Martin Lawrence. Bernie and all them, and the brother from the guy from Joanna Man. Right, that dude. I mean, the no, cast was loaded. They had tons the of Barry people. Barry Shabazz, that dude Shabazz. That dude, they had tons of people oh. in that. They had tons of people in Harlem Nights. Well, Nights Red brother. Fox. Red Fox everybody the beast. Hell oh, Charlie movie. Murphy. Arsenio Hall. Robin everybody. Harris was in it. I mean, it's, yeah, those two movies. Yo, life, Harlem yeah. Nights, Life. Make sure you check those yeah, out. Check, check them out, man. Great yeah, even Coming to America. Coming to America. Classic. Coming to America. Part two coming soon. Let's see how That's the age brilliant scene. More than stand-up. He takes... He doesn't do three different people. He does characters. No, right. The he clumps, man. He's doing each person has a personality. <laughs> he's giving, the clumps will, is, is that mind blowing. Professor? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah the clumps. Nanny Professor. But no, he came out with a movie called The Clumps, right? Yeah, that was part That's two. It, right? Yeah, he's giving you the he's giving you the, the professor, the mother, the father, the grandma. Nah, man, he's very talented. He gives you personality, man. Can't. Very yeah. talented. Axel so Foley. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> nah, he's he's a great actor. Right. Like he's talented. He's very man. I say Jamie Foxx is one of the most talented like, people ever. Yeah. Yeah, because he could sing he could everything. Yeah, Play he piano. Sing very well. He yeah. could, he's a piano. comedian. Yeah. He could act. He could do everything. Yeah, yeah. Jamie Foxx is a different but level. But yeah. Eddie's right there. Like yeah. they're, they're neck and neck Close, as far as, yeah. as how much they could do. Man. Other like, than the music, crazy. Jamie's got a notch in the music. But as far yeah. as comedy and acting, nah, they're both they're excellent. Yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. We're just rambling on, man. Sorry, guys. Yo, Eddie Murphy, man, as always, great classic. He, he's a legend, Hall of Fame. Whatever you want to say. Agree. Um. We appreciate you guys stopping by, man. If you want more Eddie Murphy, leave a like. Tell us what, what clips. I'm sure he has tons of clips on YouTube. We'll pull them. Um, stay safe, guys. We appreciate you as always. Man. Thanks stay for safe. watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you.